let it go a little bit longer just for the, the next Okay. Uh, Game Boy. Yes, Game Boy Advance in color. G'day, 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 g'day. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, but we need some notepad. There we go. Okay. Hello and welcome back to the Mobile Plays. Some more of Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. Oh. The heck? There we go. So, who do we want for this? we're leveling up Percival and Alan. Oh, this seems like a reasonable collection of people, as long as there are no, uh... No treasure chests to do, and I don't think there were. Yeah. A lot of people with bolting, which... looks slightly frightening. Especially for you, although you're healthier now than you used to be. enough healers we should be able to manage. Well, actually, can we? The horses are useless because of the stairs. Maybe? Can you go up the stairs? I think you can go up the stairs. Let's go. Chapter 16X. The Glorious Ascension. Lord Roritz fled? What of me? I betrayed the church and took over this tower for him. Lord Roritz's message said that he considers your work a failure. He says that because you couldn't bend the church, he has no use for you. This is all Yoda's fault. If he hadn't meddled in my affairs, I agree, but there's nothing to be done about it now. Very well, then this is our last mission. If we are to die, the Lycian army shall fall with us. Prepare the heavenly arrows, but if we use those, we'll hit our own men. Did I stutter? You shall do as I say. They'll regret crossing me. Ooh, and then guy that we didn't kill last time. This is the Saint's Tower. St. Elamine's weapon, the Aurora, spell tome lies within. Thank you, Sir Douglas. Although we were enemies earlier, I appreciate your help. I have no need for thanks. I do the king's orders. Don't concern yourself. You saved Etruria. It is an honor to fight alongside you. Sir Douglas. How strong are you, friend? You certainly have spectacular defense still. Yeah, that is a defense that is basically double whatever the best we have. Uh, it's not actually quite double Percival's. I do have to keep in mind the uh, archers. Yep, steel sword is good. It's kind of tempting to give you another go and have you sprint and kill the first swordsman. Oh god. Okay, I haven't re-equipped some of our weapons. Uh, what can we do about that? We can have you... Give him something. And then you need to evolve. Noah is evolving! He's grown a shield, armor, and hat. Health, skill, speed, strength, defense, resistance, size. Oh, and we need to turn our graphics on as well. Boop. Ah, 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 ah. That's 
that's not right either. Thank you. And where the hell is our tech speed not on fast? In fact, even faster. -er. God, you are slow. Well, you certainly don't go in the lead. So, there with you. And I can live with you coming this way. Dabby, miss, we do modest damage back. Twenty four. That is solid incoming bolting damage if it hit. Hail Decoy. G'day, g'day. Yes, we have returned to Fire Emblem. You can get in front next turn, so can you. You could be useful. I would like you to sprint ahead. Yeah, I like the idea of you sprinting ahead. You try and take out this mage. Two elevens. Four two twenties. Two twelves is perfect. Or we get a lucky crit. We only need one twelve. Good work, Shanna. Good work, Sailor Mercury. Can you kill this guy now then? With basic fire. Yes. Give him another go? Maybe. I am a bit concerned about... This guy and Bolting guy maybe targeting Hugh, but... I don't think I'm actually going to do anything about it. Especially if Hugh can kill... You could run to here, or even here, and kill you. And now that Noah has finished evolving... You go here. You give Hugh another go. Tweet tweet. Yeah, why not? The horses can turn around and go the other way next turn. One. Two, and I guess Lou is joining the non-horse side. Up. We're on the horse side. Even if he gets bolting, that should be fine. Who's the dude on the balcony? Just some mage hiding on the high ground, doing his sniper impression. Bolting people from a distance. Health, skill, speed. And at the very top is the uh, bishop who betrayed the the Etrurian kingdom. We're gonna 
go get the super tome of good magic from him. Yeah, this guy, he's he's doing bold things like this. Boom! But he hasn't hit any so far. He's failed two coin flips. Not his lucky day. Yeah, it's a sizable bit of damage. Move up. It's tempting to move you up as well. The question is how far can the horses go? The answer is not so far as to be a problem. Our own horses are all going this way. Actually, can he get there? Yes, that works out perfectly. Gives Alan another go. Sailor Mercury to here. Well, actually, let's see how far can the nearest archer get. We should be able to kill that archer, right? Let's do other things first. Noah, can you yeet? That is not what I wanted you to do. I thought you had a javelin. Uh, hmm. Well, you do have Fireball. This partially covers up that mistake. But yeah, if she can't kill Archer... Nah, there's no way you do that. So... How far can the Archer go? Once we're standing in the way, the Archer won't be able to go here. Give you an extra go. You actually have a Javelin. But I want the 100% hit rate. Okay. She should be able to handle one hit. Uh, you. Waddle up. You. Waddle up. You. Waddle up. She has killed him in return, so that seems like a fair trade. This needs to miss. No miss. Well, reset. Okay. We know one thing to improve, we need to actually... I'd forgotten to give items to... You! Steel sword. Crappy javelin, crappy javelin. Mm. Maybe a crappy axe? Just in case you run into someone that needs it. Then let's go. The rest I was pretty happy with. Run forwards. Run forwards. I can't have you in the lead. Yeah, I can't have you in the lead, I'm sorry. You can only be 
back right. Forwards. Forwards. Noah moves up and evolves. Noah is evolving. Health, strength, speed, skill, defense, resistance, constitution. Lou comes this way. You go this way. Or can we make Lou get another go? We could. Yeah, actually, I don't mind that. Give Lou another go. She is part of Team Horse. Lou. Move up. Bit sad that you can't target that guy. You. And Roy. Oh, and we need to change our text and uh, battle display options. There we go. Yes, you're hideously slow. You could get here and blow up that guy. training at the moment. You get no experience from this, but everyone else is about the same level anyway. Well, actually these two could, could get some more experience, and so could you. And I guess so could you. And Rutger. Who do I want to give the extra go to there? I kind of like the idea of giving it to Soul. Tweet, tweet! In theory, that should kill. I want you to kill the mage. Good dodge. That's as far up as you can move anyway. Cecilia can actually be helpful offensively. Fireball! Fireball! Which is much faster for leveling her up than healing. Now, technically, Alan could go get in the way to make sure that Armor Man doesn't stab Elfin. Honestly, with 10 defense, Elfin has pretty solid defense. I probably should still put him in the way. Or we could put you in the way. As long as this guy doesn't have a javelin. Yeah, you know what, Sailor Mercury, you go get in the way. Alan can continue advancing. And Roy sits here annoyed that the stairs are so clogged. Zero damage. 
the exceedingly light sword does nothing against the armor. Solid vaulting hit. Cecilia is going to have to heal next turn. Unless she's silenced. But miss. Okay. You move up. You blow up Mr. Armor Man. Good work. Move up. Probably give him an extra go because he's so hideously slow. Although I actually also like the idea of running Rutger forwards. So I'm more likely to use Rutger moving forwards than I am Mr. Armor Man. So we'll give Rutger the extra go. Good old Rutger. You, we're going to join over here. You need to heal him. Sword and... Sword. How far can you move and how far can she move? And does that expose her to... No, it doesn't even expose her to being attacked, so that seems okay. You go here, you heal him. Make sure it's healing the right person. hurts him. But between Saul and Hugh, there's plenty of healing on that side. One damage. Enemy's gonna kill us one damage at a time. Silence Man continues to miss. Okay, he needs healing. And we do not put him up against the wall. That doesn't actually kill the horse, so target the other guy. You move. Hmm. You go kill the horse. Or not. There we go. Go for the crit. Leaving them on a one hit point. Yep, two-thirds chance to crit. Now he has to get healed. So, how are we doing this? We're putting you here. Are we? No, because then that exposes you to getting... We're putting you here. Healing Douglas. Hopefully Douglas continues to attract the boltings. Then we give... 
him another go. And then you maybe blow up the horse. That horse is eminently blow upable. Lovely. Now on this side. The archer should go first. And she needs healing. That kills. Good job, Noah. Not very much experience for him, though. And Percival. That should be the kill as well. Assuming we don't miss. Good. And then Alan. That also should be the kill. Assuming we don't miss. Good job. Taunts us by putting us on 99 health, or 99 experience, sorry. You could blow up that horse, but then the other horse would be in range. So instead, go there and blow up that horse. Oh, it doesn't blow up enough. Mm, that's a bit awkward. Hmm. Well, I guess you come here or here? Is that square at risk from you? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that square is fine from you. So you, here, heal, Sailor Mercury. And the assumption is that Cecilia there is out of range of the boltings? Smack. Level up, level up. Rudiger hits level 7. Health, strength, speed. Alan probably counter kills here. One. And two. Get stuff all experience. Level 9, health, strength. She's going to need to dodge any boltings. Good. The bolting is instead going for Douglas. It hits. They're going to need more healing. Rudiger dodges. leave her on one health? Yes! That leaves her on one health! Uh... Roy moves up. You heal Douglas so that he can keep absorbing boltings. Give Saul another go. Hail hey, Darth there. G'day, g'day. And I'd like you to blow up the horse. The horse will get to retaliate once and we just have to live with that. The horse doesn't manage to hit. Good. You to here. That's a one hit KO, so he doesn't get to retaliate. The 
Rudiger moves forwards. You move forwards. And then over here, I really need you to heal yourself. But that's not a thing. Hmm. She's gonna need to yoink someone's vulnerary and eat it. That's pathetic damage. What about... No, that's even worse. Well, someone else will kill this for you. Can you javelin it? You cannot. Can you javelin it? Can you axe it? Javelin will have to do. Do 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 do. Health lock defense. He does have a vulnerary that she can yoink. Is that square at risk from you? I want to move up to just outside your range. Just outside that range. Unless you can kill it, which you can't, so just outside the range. And I guess you're yoinking her vulnerary now? Also have long range magic. So you know what? She's gonna step back. She is going to conservatively step back. She will advance to the rear. No, that's stealing my experience game. The magical arrow things kill our enemy. You move up. You move up. You move up. You can afford to engage in magical combat so you can move into range. You move up. Roy still hasn't evolved, so we're not interested in using Roy. And I'm not really interested in getting you mage blown up, so maybe only advance to there? On this side, she needs to move forwards and eat her potion again. You could move forwards and attack this person. I kind of want to kill this person in one hit if I can. Twenty-six? Twenty-five, there we go. One hit KO. And yes, it will be in range of that, and there's not a lot to be done about that. to even with you without too much trouble, except for you. You need to sit here eating your potions. Now I guess you could move up a bit, now that you're potioned. How much damage can this guy do? Yeah, this person has... Decent range. This is the one that I'm worried about, though. And possibly you. Yeah. Because currently we are in range of Bolting and Purge. 
one is bad enough. Being in range of two? Two is horrible. To the point where I don't think I move Noah up into range of that second mage. Thirteen plus ten is twenty-three. You can survive, you can survive, you can survive. You could not. Although, you can resist after... You will live after your resistance is factored in. And you would live once your resistance is factored in. Steal one of his vulnerabilities and eat it. At least he's now in range to get stabbed this next turn. Lou is just so good that he laughs off the enemy mage. got a really high level magic there. Air Calibre's pretty high tier. You're another purge. Let's guess, you're another bolting? Yes, you are. Move up. As long as it's not into range of you, I guess. Move up. Move up. Move up. Move up. Looks like Roy is getting an extra go. Good for you, Roy. Move up. And now over here. You kill Bishop 1? No, you don't do enough damage. Well, you do do enough damage like that. Good Lance. Making up for your weak attack stat. Now this mage. We need to do 20 in a single hit, preferably with zero miss. That is not zero miss. Plus seven. No, she's fine. So technically you could attack. Ugh. None of these do 20 in the first hit. It's just shy, which is disappointing. Yeah, Bolting Man didn't attack. I don't know why. But I'm not unhappy, so... And then you heal who? Looks like you're healing Percival. Or you're eating your own last... You know what? Actually, eat your own last volunteer. I'd rather feel safe that you aren't going to die. Perish every last one of you. Everything to ash. He makes my guy go insane. And I don't think she has a way of fixing that.
Ow. Undoes the, uh... Potion use. You need healing. But... Hmm. How do we manage that, then? We move... You to here and stop. We give you an extra go. You go kill the mage up top. Yes, perfect. Dead. Now we need to have you heal you. You can move up. You can move up. But how do I want to do the rest of this? I think I don't want to move him up much more. Because I don't want to expose Saul to being archered and... Boltinged and well, there's something to be said for no, not the, the archer as well. The archer as well is too much. What the hell we do about Noah? I can't trade and steal all his items, which would be one nice way out of that pickle. That doesn't quite do enough damage to kill you. That should, but it would miss. And these two actually have to fear Noah. Nothing is going to do enough damage to, uh... Well, got to do it bit by bit. One... Two. And if we're forced to do this again, maybe we give her the fix berserk thing. It is a beefy archer. Can you guarantee this hit? No. Can you? Good enough, even if it hits you back, it does basically nothing. Okay, and then you go here. Eat your potion. And then she hides in the corner. the last potion there. I wish we could do your conversation as well, but we cannot. And you do nothing, because otherwise you're in range of people. Oh! I hadn't realised that top square was a... Uh, a respawn point. Spawned on the left side? You would think they would respawn symmetrically. But if this has spawned someone, so should this. Which could actually be a Roy job. You could give 
Rutger here another go. Maybe it spawns X turns after. Maybe. Who would you be physicking? No. You kill this guy. Or... Fail to kill this guy, but... Unless he gets two crits. Yeah. Now, two of my people being crazy is a bit much. I don't know that I can handle two. He is almost out of berserks, though. I kind of think I need to run away. Is it contagious? No, he just hit two out of two berserks. The other option is try and push forwards regardless. And that does have the advantage of getting rid of that bolting mage, which is very tempting. You could quite happily go and deal with this guy. What did I think of... Yeah, it's... I think it has some balance issues and I'm interested to see what the future ages do. But it's a nice, chill little city builder. Sadly, that doesn't kill. Mm. You can't really afford to be exposed to two attacks. So, what do I do with you? I guess I shove you here and say that that way only one enemy can attack you? Oh good, Berserk ends up blowing up the uh, enemy and not us with that one. No! Oh well, gotta reset. And we know that we need to bring anti-Berserks. Blah, 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 blah. We need to give him some weapons. No, I'm not convinced on more vulnerabilities. That would involve admitting that I'm going to use more vulnerabilities, which... Nah. We wouldn't want to admit that. So he has a restore. We need to give one to her. There we go. And we should be perfect this time. Our only real trouble was the berserks. Now they will not be a problem. I would prefer Rutka to get the extra go here. She can't afford to be out front. She can't take the hits. Not the physical hits. She can take magic hits a bit more. We need to change the text and... Fight animation settings. Hasn't remembered that. Thank you. 
All right, you blow up, mage. Blow up, mage. Four in exchange for not even four. Zero for dead mage is a fantastic trade. You preferably kill the heavy. Perfect damage. Exact damage, he says, and then gets a 3% crit, making it far in excess of needed damage. Well done, Alan. You can actually fireball them. Ooh. You don't have ranged weapons, so no. Sword and sword. And if you miss, it's actually kind of good because it means Cecilia will get to fireball this guy. Alas, no. So she has to move up to there. Rutger kills the mage. Preferably in one hit. Can't manage in one hit. Big sad. That at least gets that kill. Hugh, move up. Armor Man, move up. Soul, move up. Give Hugh an extra go. Uh uh. That was the wrong person. Well, sucks to be me. Stay. Roy, move up. I did these in the wrong order that I thought that Elfin was Saul. My bad. We miss out on an extra, extra go. Armor Man gets himself killed. Bolting and Mage might actually be able to beat up Rutger there if they both hit. But the odds of them both hitting is probably so tiny as to not be worth thinking about. Yeah. Hey, I like a turbo. Good day, good day. 25 to Noah. Oh, because Noah hasn't evolved. We need to evolve Noah. experience for you. Even if you don't win, it's good experience. Give you another go. You can move slightly further up and finish that kill. Good work. Bad mage competition. He's mostly a healer. He's also sometimes useful at blowing up armor people. That's about it. Now, no one needs to evolve this turn. So, there and evolve. Noah is evolving! Health, strength, skill, speed, defense, resistance, constitution. He needs to be full healed. The heck. 
Hmm? What? Oh, because it's not something that can be done at the moment. That's fine. Characters should devolve? No, no, no. Only Meg. Only Meg should devolve. Percival. Yes, that gets the kill. Although it's hard to imagine how you would get worse than Meg. Big miss. Which kind of means now it's up to you. 100% hit rate. Good. Zero for dead enemy. Good deal. Even without a crit. Certainly solid damage if it hits, but it misses. Five for nothing, but they miss us. And then three for nothing. Silences can't hit for... Ooh, that hurts Roy, though. No? Oh, it was that line, not this line. Okay. You. Hmm. You move up. Give you an extra go. Do I want you standing there, though? Do any of these have javelins? You have a javelin. You have a javelin. So I'd prefer you to stand there. Thank you. Lou blows up the horse. No, he's one damage short. That is devastating. Oh, but I think that's a crit. Yep, crit, he's not one damage short. One in 20 crit. Which means Rutger is free to attack the mage. A critical, critical. Heal. Get Rutger back up to full. Not a lot of healing, but if he's going to be the front edge of the blade, that's pretty much perfect damage. One. No need to use up the good sword on the crappy archer. Two. Move up. up. Now here, Noah, can you kill the archer? Very probably. One. Two. Roy is indeed so slow. He needs to evolve. Roy definitely needs to evolve. Percival. That doesn't kill, but neither would this. Mm. What if we used Fireball on you first? Then we'd need to do 20... F 28. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> Bless me. Which, the Steel Sword does exactly 28. So we should actually do it the other way. Yeah, and now she can finish it off and get the Murder EXP. 
seeing as she needs the experience more than Percival does. Health, skill, speed, luck, defense. Actually a very good level up. You blow up the... Paladin. And you probably get most of a level up from that. Yeah, 60% of a level. Health, magic, resistance. Alan rushes forwards. Leaves his sword equipped. As long as he's not in range of that mage, I'm not too worried. Looks good. Twenty-one. Does he get to double attack? He does. He completely destroys the unevolved horse. Health, strength, speed, luck. I thoroughly expect that to hit. And they're going to need healing next turn. But their job is being a bolting sponge. Level up for Rutka. Health, skill, defense. I mean, he does need the defense, so it's okay. Not the best level up. obsessed with abusing that they have javelins equipped and we don't. Ow. Ow. Okay. You blow up. Well, we hope you blow up that horse. We need one of these to be a crit, preferably. No such luck. down. You get healed. You're ready to absorb another bolting. You give the healer another go, and then the healer can finish off the horse. And then you finish off the other horse. Lovely. Roy, move down. Check who's still in range of you. Which is only Roy. Can you one hit KO that guy? Probably. You can probably one hit KO that guy. Necessary style critical. And then Noah needs healing. So Noah goes to here. You heal Noah. So good of the bad guys to stay there until we come to finish them off? Yes. Crits never miss. Uh, something has to be a hit to crit. You can't have a critical miss. And then you are safe to... there. The 
hit percent rolls and then the crit. Well, my understanding is they're both the same dice in this one? Based on what chat was saying the other stream? Even you can't actually reach where I want you to. Hmm. How healthy are you? Healthy enough that I want to use the mage, I think. So... You move to there. We give you an extra go. His crit chance crowds out mischance. His crit chance is almost... Well, his hit chance is usually 100. And his crit chance is usually 36-ish. Mid-30s. 30s to... 30s to 40s, let's say. So he has a 70% chance of not critting. Oh, that's one damage short. That is... That is disappointing. Okay, can you get to the archer this round? Yes. And you can kill with the first strike. No need to worry about being retaliated against. She needs healing, but I don't want to get in range of... Someone here had a silence. You. And their range is seven. Right. No, the range is magic, not magic div two. Fifteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I want to exist on that row. is running away. Okay, 18 is a solid hit. Ow. I'd much prefer you using psychics to using your purges, so okay. Mage combat will never not work out for loot. Damn it, he moved forwards to use the science. Well, we need you to miss, friend. Good. Genius enemy. Heads I win, tails you lose. Speaking of, time to do the next one of them. Boom. And unnecessary style critical. As long as we're not dragging people too far into your range, we should be fine. These two are just too slow. You go here, you give him an extra go. And then tweet tweet. 
don't get crit quotes? What, in future games are they so obnoxious as to say one little quippy liners whenever they crit? That would get real tiring. Yeah. That does get the kill as long as we don't miss. You think it's great? There's too many crits! Move up and heal him. It's tea time. Uh, you to here. Heal him. Like, unless they're dressed up as a giant cup of tea, I don't see that working for me. I'm sorry. There. Perish every last one of you. Everything to ash. We get berserked. As long as we don't get silenced, we're fine. A solid bolting hit. If only a poltergeist can say it. Getting risky. Four health left. No, that bolting is actually kind of nice. I would complain that it hit two people, but it's far better that it hit two people than it killed poor Noah. You need to... Fix... wait, what? Yeah, fix Percival. Percival comes down and kills the mage. Good enough. Kill the archer, or at least start weakening the arch- Oh, that's so close. Yeah, I'm gonna risk the miss. Use Big Javelin to try and get the kill this turn. We said the risk- the miss risk was worth it. We can't complain. Line you up. Line you up, and have you eat a potion. Or do we have you run really, really far? Actually, we have you run really, really far away and eat a potion. Unless that enters you into his range. Which it doesn't because they're out of bolting, so that's fine. Run you far away and you eat your potion. Yeah. He's out of bolting range, he should be fine. Now... We could have you engage in mage combat and fail to kill. Kind of okay with that. Because I want you going and getting... Oh, you can't quite get there. That's frustrating. Well then, I guess you kill this guy. And then we give you another go. Uh, 
And hopefully you can get in the way of the archer from there? Which is actually a no. Annoyingly. So you go there. You go here and are going to have to... Wait. Is that everyone? No, Roy and... Douglas need to move up. He's picking up the longbowman, but it's better than them using a magic attack. Bolting for four is fine. Bolting for eight is also fine. It's not likely to hit in the first place. Longbow for five that misses. Longbow for eight that manages to connect. Kind of want to do that, but it's not enough damage. Let's try for a crit. Does use up our killing edge, but gets us past the longbowman this turn. I mean, they have the least health. And yes, our resistance is slightly better, but... The health that they have is just so much lower that they look like the juicy target. You move back up. You heal him. Right, even if... Eh. Even if, say, this guy has one-third the resistance of her, just because she starts out with so much, well... She's no longer a good example. She used to have considerably less health. If we went to one of the other healers, it would probably be more true. And especially not you, but we fed him a, an extra health thing, so he doesn't count. Move you up. That does not kill. That only probably kills. That's starting to be a bit of a worry. To the point that we will send Percival back to Javelin U. Good. Yeah. Compared to these guys, 40 health, 40 health. Not so much him. He only has about the same health. That does get the kill this turn. That would not. The javelin would. We will allow the javelin. The javelin would if it hit. We're having trouble hitting that one. You guys move up. A normal amount. Someone needs to sit up there. And actually, I can probably tempt that guy. Well, no, he's going to sit there doing bolting no matter what, isn't he? So... I kind of like you to here. Give you an extra go. He blows up the... Armor Man. Mm. Mm. 
no, because he gets to retaliate there. So, that's square. Now he doesn't get to retaliate. It's a bit unfortunate that he uses up two fire charges instead of one, but what are you going to do? And you move up. She would be the most annoying one to berserk because she can't be, um... She can't be cured. She's the one that cures berserk. There's no one else on that side that can fix berserks. Absolutely needs a big heal. Yeah, he can't... There's lots of things that Rutger can dodge, but he can't dodge the uh, magic arrows. The environmental damage. Do enemies go berserk? If you use a berserk on them. One. Two. and move up. You are going to go block this in case another one spawns. You're coming this way. You could give Rudiger another go. Or you could give Saul another go. But Rudiger another go actually probably means you can contribute next turn. It's a pity you can't reach that mage. So just go there. You go block more enemies from... Well, you go sit here in case more enemies spawn. You finish off... This... One miss. Do we manage to miss both? No. To hit. Shana needs healing. Wing. And no one needs to move up, but no one needs to not get blown up by your fire attack. Oh, and I didn't realise you had a horse killing thing. Well, I think Alan can take that to the face. Nice dodge, Roy. Bolting. Elfin laughs and dodges. Ow, we take two damage. Wait, no? Oh, it was one column between us. Good. You'll find where you are. We would like to blow this guy up without retaliation. Beautiful. And that actually also helps Cecilia, because she needs the experience the most. Okay experience for her. Not fantastic, but fairly good experience. You... I'd prefer to give the experience to this guy, but he doesn't have a ranged weapon, so... Kinda has to be Roy. How much damage do you do to Mage Man? A uh, fair bit. What if we upgraded you to your good magic? You would almost kill.
And we could give you a second turn. So, actually, we can just overwhelm you with fireballs if we choose. What about you? Less good. You go beat up this guy, then. With the shitty sword, 100% chance to kill. Style critical. Blow up the boss. Give him another go, finish blowing up the boss. Tweet tweet. And then we should get ready for playing past the parcel. Can't the ma no, he's too far away. Unless I brought boltings or a longbow, he's too far away to be hurt. Who have I forgotten? You do nothing. us. But I don't mind you finishing off this guy first, just so he's not a hassle. And then we want to be ready to play past the parcel. Past the parcel. And pass the parcel. Good. We might even be able to get Roy all the way to the throne this turn. Go, and Roy claims the throne. GG. Lord Roy, I think we found the tome. So Douglas, is this it? Yes it is. It is the glorious ascension. Aurolia, St. Elamine's weapon. May we make use of it? The king said anyone in the tower can have it? The St. Elamin Church is on our side as well. If any oppose our use of it, I will negotiate. Thank you, Sir Douglas. Princess Guinevere, I have to speak with you. Has someone told you already? No, I simply knew that it would eventually come to this. We can't leave Burn unopposed any longer. I know it will be painful to see your homeland invaded, but... Roy, I want you to have this. What is it? It's our fire emblem. What? In Southern Burn lies a temple called the Shrine of Seals. Within it lies the Sword of Harmet, founder of Burn. Is it a legendary weapon? Yes, the most powerful of them all. It was made to slay the leader of the dragons in the Scouring. Its power was so immense that it had to be sealed away after the war. The Fire Emblem is the key to accessing it once more. The key? My brother is forcing the world into submission with military might. I can't forgive him, no matter the reasons. All we must do to stop him is defeat the dragons. Princess Guinevere, I'll be remembered in infamy as a traitor. No. 
The people will resent me for the rest of my days. Promise me one thing. When we do invade, don't harm any civilians. I will not. I promise you. Thank you. We got Super Tome. All right. Ocean's Parting. After Roy captures Aquilia, other Etrurian forces flock to the Loyalists, forcing out the revolutionaries. Rorts and Arcado are driven out of Etruria. They flee north to Ilia, which is under burn control. Ilia, the frozen highlands, is a land with short summers and long winters. With so little arable land, the nation's main source of income is mercenary contracts. The now free kingdom of Etruria joins forces with the Lycian army, now a joint force under the name of the Etrurian army. Their mission is to enter Ilia and finish off the revolutionaries. After that, they will attack Bern. Roy, nominated as leader of the Etrurian army, has the powerful support of the St. Elamine Church. With the church's support comes the support of the people. However, Roy has to face not only the freezing cold of Ilia, but the elite troops under Murdoch, head of Bern's Wyvern Generals. Even worse, many skilled mercenary knights of Ilia have sided with Bern. To begin, Roy heads from Castle Remy, located on the Ilian border. Okay, let's have a look. I don't think I saw any archers, so this is... Well, there's one archer. Yeah, there's a grand total of one archer. So this is a map where we could definitely use our Milady and Zeiss. Zeiss needs to evolve, and I don't think we have another evolution stone for him, sadly. So maybe we don't use Zeiss. Castle Remy isn't a good name, but it's better than Castle Anthrax. Uh, so we say no to Zeiss, because we can't evolve you. And instead we say yes to... Who? Igrin is our best archer now? So I probably should train up Igrin. She's better than Klain, even though Klain is four levels ahead. I probably should do Igrin. Is there anything that would make us want to maybe have Merlinus with us? There are some shops. Right, there's this. And there's actually an arena. So in theory we could try and go infinite money on this map. I can't be bothered doing that on stream. If I was playing off stream, or if we ever redo a like ultra sweaty hard mode run, we will probably put the effort into abusing the arenas. But as it stands... I've done enough of my grind duty against the bosses, I feel. Because in theory what you do is you use this to... You use this to convert weapons into money, then you can buy more weapons with this. It also gives you experience, and it gives you more money than it costs, and eventually that lets you be infinite on money. And then with the infinite money, when you go to the secret shops... You can then buy the stat up things, the things that give you more speed, more skill, more movement, more all of those things, as well as buying the extra upgrado stones. So like we could have had the upgrado stone for her brother. But it is a lot of turns worth of grinding to do that. Okay, you Give this away. No one's ever going to be able to use it. Which is a bit sad. I don't think anyone's ever going to be good enough at... 
light magic. He starts at D rank and he's not likely to get to S. You kind of need another good sword? I guess I could live with you having an armor slayer for heavy enemies. You seem fine. You need a javelin. You seem fine. You kind of need another fire, actually. Where's the girl? There's a girl in here that has some more fire tomes. Where is she? Oh, also we should bring the member card if we're gonna go shopping, right? Her, she has the spare fire tomes. means you could also have some spare fire tomes. Lovely. You kind of need another spare javelin. And arguably a shitty sword. You're fine. Don't you know how to use swords now? Yes, so we should give you a shitty sword. There are no sufficiently shitty swords for you. Then we will give you a less shitty sword and trade with someone who has the top tier of shitty swords. There you go. And you trade with Mr. Hazel our bows. She's not actually good enough to use this bow. So he is better in one specific way. He has S tier bow. Whereas she is yet to achieve S tier bow. Who do we give the shopping card to? I would guess we give that to you. You can have the shopping card. Okay, that seems about right. Who is going where? The horses can all go that way. And the normal people can go the other way. Oh, I didn't notice you. You're a hassle. So, horse. Horse. Well, actually, you going up front also makes sense because you can give one of the horses an extra go. And you have the shopping card. Hey, Alethos. There were some interesting new city builders to check out. I did enjoy Memoriapolis. I quite like um, Citadelum. It looks like it's Anno Caesar 3. But there's no more to the demo at the moment, so we gotta gotta end that. Both of them will hopefully be more full and better in time. You're on this side. You to there. You are needing more forwards than them. You are needing more forwards than them. That feels about right. Save. And let's see if we can one and done this one. Oceans parting. Narsian has fallen then. So it seems. General Murdoch, I still feel uncomfortable that we didn't go to his aid. Oh, and I should actually check out if we... I should have checked out if we need to bring anyone specific. Uh... Path through the ocean? No, I didn't need to bring anyone, so this is fine. 
Boop. I still feel uncomfortable we didn't go to his aid. The King Orders explicitly said to leave him on his own. Burn's army has no use for a man who can't manage his own messes. So Murdoch, what has become of us? I leave Castle Remy to you. Rorts, you will take Castle Odessa. Make preparations to defend against the enemy. What? Remy is right on the border. The enemy will be here so soon. This is true. This gives us an invaluable strategic position. An advantage against Etruria. You must ensure the castle doesn't fall into enemy's hands. Have a grail-shaped beacon. Odessa lies all the way in the outer tundra of Ilia. So you will have ample time to prepare your defences. You intend only to take the defensive? You don't mean to take back Etruria? We play the waiting game for now. We will take back Etruria someday. And once we do, it will be under Burns' jurisdiction. What about us? That's not what we agreed upon. Then perhaps you should find a way to make yourself useful. You have done nothing to deserve such remuneration. If you'll excuse us. Those two will surely be killed. Should we really leave them? We're not to blame if they fail, it's their own incompetence. Our army's code states that every officer must be capable and self-sufficient. Perhaps they should have considered that before joining us. The enemy leader, Roy, was it? Yes, Roy of Foray. I'll admit he's rebuilt the Lycian army magnificently. I thought it finished after we crushed it the first time. I hope to cross blades with him before the war is finished. We will soon approach the Etrurian border. Thank you for everything, Father Yoda. We've only made it this far thanks to the assistance of the church. Only repaying your favour I am, says Father Yoda. Had you not captured Aquilia, we would suffer great persecution from Burn. There is nothing, this is nothing compared to what you did for us. It was my pleasure to help the church. If I might be so bold, could I ask for one more favour? If I'm capable, if you discover anything else about the dragons, say no more. We'll let you know immediately. You have my thanks. Oh, and I have some information that might be of use. At a certain time of day, the sea level drops. Exposing a sandbar. It would take much time to make your way around the bay to the castle, but crossing the sandbar would be a direct journey. But be careful, rushing forwards has dangers as well. May the Etrurian army go with St. Elamine's blessing. Okay. You. Immediately smush. This. Go. And then you. Immediately smush. Actually, can you immediately throw? Oh, so close. But we need to soften this guy up, so one. Two. Good job, Lance. Do 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 do. -do. And Percival. That should be the kill, as long as he doesn't miss. One. Therefore, of course, we miss. Two. You can javelin from here. That's a kill. Oof. Good amount of experience. And Noah. Can you javelin the mage? To death, maybe. One. And two. Finally, Sailor Mercury. You can't quite be useful. Neither can you. And what about this direction? Well, Rudiger, sprint forwards. Equip the steel sword. Actually, even more than that, equip the iron sword and wait. Okay. 
so I kind of don't want to be further forwards than there. It's going to be awkward, but... So, lovey. And now you. How are we going to deal with this? Who do we give an extra turn to? Who is most likely to hit? And who needs the level more? Percival actually is both of those. No way we missed two seventy fives, right? Good. Obviously don't want to move into range of you. But one above that works. Tempting fate. I can't imagine missing 275s. That's that's not that bad. And even if they did, I can't see that guy killing anyone. Maybe Elfin? He might double Elfin if he managed to hit Elfin twice. But I don't think he'd even manage to hit Elfin twice. Elfin has so much dodge now. Elfin is not the squishy boy they once were. What about that square? There. Critical, followed by a useful finishing hit. Ballista does almost nothing. Other Ballista does literally nothing because Rudiger dodges. these things, so who's going where? We need you to get to the store. One of you needs to visit this. Are we fighting against Burn? Please take this staff. It was once used by the noble lady Tina. We've got Tina Turner's staff, and it just looks like it's a... It looks like it's a mend, but a mend that only needs level E. Come on down. You visit this. Did you know that at a certain time of day, a sandbar appears in the bay? It's a path through the ocean. Good luck. And then come on down. You visit this house. The tide is very dramatic around here. I remember once I was getting ready to go fishing, by the time I had my boat ready, the tide had gone out. Good lord! Did you know that there's maybe going to be a sandbar? Did you know there's maybe going to be a sandbar? Did you know there's maybe going to be a sandbar? Would you like to use the sandbar? Holy moly. Let's be ready to play past the parcel here. Okay, you blow up the horse. percent chance to miss 275s. It's like 1 minus... 1 minus 0.75 raised to 2. Mm. 
I thought that would be 6.6... 6 percent, 6 6.25. Maybe I'm forgetting my my math on those. Move up. Move up. Oh, you're doing the the actual maths, not the uh. You're doing the maths that the game doesn't actually tell you about. Fair enough. Boop. And I don't want you to be in range. So... You can't get in range and hit. That's kind of awkward for you. I guess you can go... to here, though. We move you into range? Seven defense. I think you could maybe move into range of one, but not the other. And I'd feel okay. Mm. Rutger takes the lightning to the face. As long as only two of those hit, that's not so bad. He will need healing. But it is also absorbing their ballista shots, and one solution to the ballista is just to absorb all their shots till they're not a problem. They get like five? No? Maybe four. need to heal Rayleigh so that he can take another pair of those to the face please in fact he needs even more healing which isn't gonna happen you visit the armory okay wait did I give you the wrong thing Oh, I gave you the wrong thing. No, I'm an idiot! Exclamation mark, idiot. Oh well, I need more iron swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I need some javelins. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all we can really afford. I was meant to bring the discount card, not the member card, and I'm an idiot. Move. Take. Move. Take. Move. Kind of want to do that, but I shouldn't. I should do this. One, you counter hit. Two, you heals Rutger. one of the people I'm trying to concentrate on leveling up. Him and, ideally, her at the moment. I suppose on this map I was intending to do you, but I was stupid and didn't pay attention enough to the ballista. I just said, oh look, there's only one archer. Of course I can use my flying units. Herder, there's ballista. I'm 
don't feel like moving you back up. He needs to exit range of at least one of them, because he can only take one shot to the face. But you could actually move up as far as you want. The horses can't get through the forest quickly. care more about you than Roy. But we're going to move Roy forwards anyway. Move you forwards. She can take two of those, no worry. It looked like he'd hopped out of the ballista, but no. <sighs> Six for nothing. Not a good trade. You, hop in the forest. Ah! Oh, almost a one-hit KO. The brave bow doesn't get four goes, which is disastrous. The longbow would work, so okay. kill. Might do more damage back than I want, but it does get the kill. Do, 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 do. Health, skill, speed. Heal you back up. Very good. into range of both at the same time, which it isn't, that's fine, you only have to tank one shot to the face. Is that in range of you? No. Same deal, that's fine. Move you up and heal. Shithole experience these days. Move Roy up. Uh, we don't tempt fate. They still have two shots. So it's horsey. 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 give this horsey another go. And then the magic line in the sand is... here. Rudiger dodges. He slices. He dices. But he doesn't quite kill the enemy in a single round. I'm surprised you're targeting Roy. There are juicier targets. It's actually kind of bad because the others would at least get experience for getting hit, whereas Roy gets diddly. Ooh, could you kill the mage from there? Yes. No? That's actually the horse. Oh well. Still good experience for Igrin. Health luck. Pretty bad level up. Why can you exist on the river? Huh? 
but he can't walk on the other river tiles. How strange. Well, blow up the mage. Can you engage in mage combat? You could, but you'd do no damage, so that's kind of a joke. You could heal him. It's shallow there, but it says it's a river! The game's lying. And also, that's clearly a waterfall, right? This is a river that's then entering into the ocean. This clearly looks like a waterfall. If there's any bit of the river that I wouldn't want to cross, it's the waterfally bit. Uh, yeah, it's better than nothing. Gotta start somewhere. I don't really like putting you there, but... We've got to start pushing up if we're going to cross in. Move up. Yuck. Forest is crippling the horses. Move up. You need to hide in the forest. Move up. They still have one more shot, so I'm not moving you up. The other horse can move up, though. Give him another go. Whitewater Rapids. And move up. Lovely. You both do nothing until the ballista are out of shots. Trying to run Roy over to those forts in the corner. Partially for the healing and partially because otherwise it feels like enemies might spawn there. Thirteen. In exchange for eight. Eight. Not the best trade. But if the bishop helps you next turn, that's fine. Good dodge. That's perfect, even if he gets hit. In fact, getting hit is good, because it means they run out of actual missiles. There's the sandbar that they hinted at a dozen times. Lord Arcano, a path has appeared in the sea. What? According to the locals, the tide pulls out at this time of day. And you didn't know about this sooner? We're foreigners here. You can't expect us to know this. Curses. Charge. Don't allow them to cross. Roy, we have a report. The sandbar appeared... Oh my god. Yes, Father Yoda was right. Did the enemy know about it? No, they seem in a state of panic. Let's not waste this opportunity. Press forwards. That one's out of shots. You've only got one more. So we can actually move past your zone of control now. Hail cow. G'day, g'day. Move up. Move up. Give them another go. It is a kid's game. I mean, they mentioned it before the level. In the level, in the level, with the two huts. Now the bosses specifically had a talk about it. I, I don't need it five times. Uh, I'd actually kind of you, like you to go there and engage in ranged combat. The day of labor is ending and your days of labors will recommence. Do, 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 do. 
Just retire, Cal. The solution is retire. No, we'll keep using the crappy sword up. One. Hope for a crit. Two. No, I want you using healing, I'm sorry. Rudiger needs it. Yes, Super Cheese. Retire. Do we have you waste a longbow shot to get that kill? Probably yes. It's going to be very good experience for her to kill a paladin. 40% of a level. And then you are... Why is that so hard to cross? One, two, three, four, four... Ah, because that square is a... is a naughty square. Fair enough. Javelin for the kill. Can't all be like me. With enough hard work, I'm sure anyone could be like me. He needs healing. She... Cannot sadly go kill this. You're only going to advance there. You're staying where you are and you're going to heal Noah. The other horse is going to move as close as it can through the forest. And I could actually move you up to like there. We need someone to be in your range to bait out your last shot. Crappy sword, that guy. One. Two. And then maybe the... Healer can get the next one. Yes. Good job. Is healing lightning bolts. You'll stick to computer science? Fair enough. I mean, mine was very... very computer-based, Ethos. So much of my work was just... Work harder, computer. Get the answer. Whipping the computer into... doing more work for me. actually get past the forest square, annoyingly. Alan needs healing. Sounds difficult. Yelling at... I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone in this day and age is good at yelling at the computer. It's a universal... <laughs> a universal skill. How does my current theory... Well, there's also yelling at chat now. There wasn't any yelling at chat before. Uh, I do want you to sit on the fort. Surely I had a peanut gallery? No. No peanut gallery. Only during, like, symposia and, uh like, presentations. Give Wyvern guy an extra go. Well, Wyvern girl, I suppose. She is my lady. And then how far up can you move? As long as you're to the right of Pegasus girl, you're fine. Sleep, 40% chance. Dodged. Roy 
boy needs the health. You need the health. Sometimes answering dumb questions is nice. Uh, you could actually get that first horsey. But then could we body block enough? Ye not really. Well, maybe. Actually, that's a maybe. You go there. You go here. And javelin that guy. To be tantalizingly one damage short. Level up, level up. Only speed, terrible, vomit-inducing level up. Go. Blow up that guy. Looks good. I need to ideally body block there. Which technically this person can do. You don't have like an anti hawk Ooh. That one having an anti-horse weapon is worrying. What do you have? A javelin is your best ranged attack. Steel lance, steel lance, anti-axe, and divine. I'm a little bit worried about that. Kind of want to sit you here. just do that. So that Armor Man can't get to us. You work with this old fella who routinely sleeps in our meetings. But no one bothers him because he's the only person that knows everything. <laughs> I am indispensable. You can't afford to anger me. Hit anyone from there? Not quite. You can body block though. She can move up most of the way, even to there. I don't think that's inside range of. Nope. You try and attract that last shot. up. And then do we move Sailor Mercury in the way there? I think yes, after we heal her. It's only like six damage, but I'd rather she be on full health before getting on the front line. Or at least part of the front line. Enemies chose this turn to spawn inside the forts, including an archer right next to Milady, which is really, 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 really rude. If it one hit KOs her from a spawn, I am not going to be best pleased. Do 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 do. -do. Strength, defense. Yeah, he gets to, he gets to be the wise old man. I need it to hit so that you actually run out of ammo. And then magic him back. You wish you were alive. <laughs> what kind of old man are you, Cal? <laughs> I 
The one yelling at clouds. Why doesn't it snow? Good! Good! Less snow good. No snow best. Okay. You blow up. This guy, please. Good job. You used to get two feet of snow. Too much snow. You, ooh. Oh, you're asleep. Um, we could anti-sleep. Partially because I want the extra DPS and partially for the experience. And you went uphill both ways. That is a kill. One. And two. Very good. Lance, go beat up the other Lancer. That does not kill. What about the steel sword? Steel sword does kill. You actually did go up both ways. Uh, lucky crit. Can serve a steel sword use. Now we need to take out the horse slaying man. We need to have 0% mischance, which that does. Else we could get anti-horsed. You blow up the other horse. Snipers should get crit boosts? Probably. As they stand... Well, I mean, the horses are just too good compared to everything else in this one. They move fast. The only thing is they don't quite have as much resistance as you might like. Especially before they evolve. But after they evolve, they even have kind of okay-ish resistance. In this game, Cal. Boom. And get the kill. It's a good experience for Noah. Do-do-do. You continue to try and absorb this fire. Oh, no, they're out. Okay. Then we can go invade Pirate Island. Uh, you to here. Give you another go. See if she can one-hit KO the archer on the lower island. Not with enough reliability. If that misses, she's dead. Right? Yeah, I think she's dead if that misses. So we say no. We wait till we can bring Wyvern to come help as well. like a 99% chance. That's too risky. She is lucky crit. Instant KO. No, and I don't know about the true hit for this game ethos, right? I only knew the numbers for... Like, I only knew the numbers really well for Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, and even that was, like, 15 years ago. Ugh, 19 damage back is not fun. In any case, we wanted you to come down and help with the islands. And these games often have... Well, the new, these earlier games have different math in several locations to the ones that I knew. Uh, you can 
come up. I lack critic. Yes. Meaning that it isn't a puzzle. I wouldn't have all the information I need. Ooh! Ooh, I don't want to use the air calibers up. What about you? I have to wait a turn for you. Surely you could take one hit. Six plus twenty is twenty-six. You have more than twenty-six health. Would he double you? Hmm. Let's test it with a tankier body. Why? What have I done to deserve this fate? Aside from, you know, being a traitor? You, you've been a traitor? Can we do 28? We can, but it would use up an air caliber. I'd rather not. Can we do 28 with normal people? Not with you. What about your fireball? That gets 8 of the 28. What about... You're yeeting. He just wants to trade. Two fours is not good enough. Zero is even worse. You could do one if you walked up and smacked them directly. Mm, no, I think we go for the kill now, even if it uses up an air caliber. I am a noble of Etruria. I cannot die in a place like this. Blah! Actually, fairly decent level up for... for Lou. And then we need to play Pass the Parcel with Roy. Uh, to the point where I will actually move you down. And then Roy towards you. And you get to where you can play past the parcel. You get to where you can play past the parcel. And I think we're happy. Less happy about that archer spawn. It's kind of rude for them to do this when I've killed the boss. Cecilia might actually die here. You're fine. The game being rude. I very much do not think the enemy should be allowed to spawn things and move them the same turn. But oh well. Forced to go again. How will we change anything? The flying units weren't actually that useful. So I think we get rid of our flying units. Unless I'm willing to give one the, uh, the thingamajig. I suppose I could give one the thingamajig. So it's not you, and not you. And who do we use instead? Or do we double down and just use so many that we can overwhelm the archer position? Use magic Meg. Yeah. We can technically use you. Uh, 
And we could use you. You could actually get across to the islands. Pirate, yeah. Pirate man. supposed to keep leveling up Astor. So maybe we'll use Astor and just see if we can't snag him some experience. Check any trades that we need to do for these new characters. You look fine. He could maybe use another hand axe. How good are you at axes, friend? B rank? You know what? We have lots of nice axes that we don't use. So you can have a sword reaver, you can have a killer axe. You can have a spare hand axe. So, we need to rearrange our things, seeing as we have new people. You there. You as close to the sea as possible? And technically, you need to be ahead of these two because you move faster. That feels about right. Oh, there was one other thing. We needed to grab that discount card. Where is it? Where is it? You take discount card. You might as well take that and sell it. Much better. Go. So the same deal. Blah, 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 blah. I don't deserve this. And then you should have been more useful if you didn't want to be used disposably. One. And... Two. Yes! Thank you, Ethos. Don't know if we get on water from cliffs? Let's see. The answer is no. <laughs> oh well. Maybe he can get in the water from the waterfall. Let's see if that is a waterfall. Does it count as a waterfall? Move up. Uh, I don't trust you to not get doubled. So I don't want you to move into range. Which is there. Do I plan to play the games where they introduce the dating sims mechanics? Maybe if the Switch ones, like... We're, we're almost at the end of the Switch lives, Cal. So this, there might be really cheap... The Switch games might become really cheap in the sort of next... Within the next year, I might grab them then. Uh, but I don't like the DS ones. I played the DS ones at the time, and I I got very grumpy at them because they have some pay-to-win DLC that made me infuriated. Like, the normal game had a bit of an unpleasant difficulty curve aspect, and part of the solution to that was you could buy a grindable level where you could repeat it to get experience, money, items, infinitely, but it was a, you had to buy this infinitely grindable level to do that, and that pissed me off something amazing. Ugh. No, not, not at the moment, Ethos. I'd rather play through the normal games. If anything, we're going to probably continue back in time 
doing the translations of the earlier games rather than ROM hacks. I'd be more likely to go do the translations of the earlier games. Weaken? What about more Pokemon? Sadly, we've almost played every single Pokemon cow. There's like your Troisy one. There's there's a terrible other match three Pokemon game that I haven't played. We haven't played through original Snap. I should probably play through original Snap. Puzzle League? That might be the terrible match three thing. Uh, you do want to move up. And then you have the discount card, so you absolutely need to move up. Fire Emblem 8 wouldn't be bad, arguably one of the easiest ones, but the post-endgame could be fun. Ah, you fighting against Burn, please have this staff, it was once used by Lady Tina, goodbye the staff. Yes, the one I'm thinking of that's the terrible match 3 is earlier than your Troy Z one. Move up. Um, and there are the mystery dungeons. We haven't done the mystery dungeon, all of the mystery dungeons either. And there's like one other side series that I forget the name of that we haven't done for Pokemon. Or the pinballs. And I do like the, the pinball, at least Game Boy Color pinball. The original one. I don't know about the other pinball. But we should do the pinball at some stage. there. You need to visit the shop. Sell gem. Buy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more killing edge. I'll grab two even. And then a whole lot of javelins. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Not Space Cadet Pinball. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be enough javelins. Then I want to yoink you and bring you back towards the front. You visit this house and get told about the sandbar. And now, honestly, it's tempting to send all the horses across via the sandbar. So you know what? We'll actually do that. Horsey across by sandbar. You visit this one, get told about the sandbar. Wait for the sandbar. You're already here, you might as well cross by the sandbar. So might as well Roy. What about... Yeah, I said Mirage that continuing to move backwards through the Fire Emblems is more likely than doing the ROM hacks. It's not a great chance to hit. And Archer Girl. One hit KOs, that's alright. And can the others... You can't be useful. You could be useful. So Rudiger ignores the horse because you can safely kill the horse. Level up, level up. You hate the sandbar. They serve the driest drinks. Yuck, 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 yuck. You move up. Could you take two javelin, uh, two of these to the face? I don't think you could take two. So... You are only allowed to move up to there. Mm 
rage at the storyline. How many, uh... How many times do the villains go, Give me the crystal that will let me blow up the world, or I will kill this innocent orphan. Pretty decent chance to crit. But I still think I'd rather be training her. You heal Rutger. I'm okay with you moving up. I don't want to move you into a... Well, actually, you could take two to the face, couldn't you? So you're fine to move up. It's this guy that can only take one to the face. That does get the kill, but... Oh well, I've got to use them up. Unnecessary... Well, actually, prevents her getting five damage. It isn't an entirely style critical. Semi-useful critical. Do I move you up even further? I guess that depends on how far these can go. Which is not so far as to be worth... But, then that means you could be hit by this and them? But you can already be hit by this and them, so that makes no difference. You might as well go to about there. And then these guys are all ready to cross. Okay, he could take three. I was wrong. <clears throat> Oof, 22 is... <laughs> 22 is out. <gasps> Bless me. Ouch. combat. Let Rudiger kill the archer. That doesn't kill. That does, so we'll trade up to the slightly better sword. I want the one round KO. You dump this person into there. They could now move up to this square. Give it to, I guess, you. And wait. She moves forwards and dumps you out here. You move forwards, and that's kind of a weird space for you to go to. I'd rather you be here and heal him up. <clears throat> I want to heal him up before I start moving him into the water. Especially because we're still in range of the bolting guy, well, purge. Until, until I feel safe moving them up, I'd rather they be where they are. He has, he has a nice flabby body, 33 hit points, but he doesn't... Zero resistance. 
Blah! Disgusting. Mm, not so good. 